This is Ice Cream Gecko and in today's video we are going to take a look at the Sea Blue edition of Red Bull with Juneberry. This is a word I've never heard or read before and I just took a look at what it means and I've never seen the thing before either. It's a Felsenbirne, a rock pear, a Saskatoon and that really sounds like something straight out of Star Wars but I uh, just found this at my local Globus on sale I'm not going to say how much it costs because it's pretty much irrelevant. They are all overpriced anyway and it doesn't really matter. We shouldn't buy this in the first place, but I got one anyway. So um, it, it looks fine. It's got like one of these, the, the shade of blue that we have here reminds me of uh, sunscreen bottles. Um, I, I do like these and that is um, quite all right for me. I pause if we want to take a look at what is written here on the back. For, it is of course uh, in uh, German and not all that easy to read because it's written on this on this uh, cylinder. Uh, pause if you want to take a look at the ingredients list right there and all the, the vitamins I guess. Um, here we have the nutrition table, isn't that lovely? And I think we're going to crack this one open right now. The Juneberry Red Bull, the Sea Blue Edition. Very nice. Oh, I've got a nice fizz, a nice crack. Oh, and it, it does smell of um, yeah, just just another, just another Red Bull. To be honest, nothing, nothing that I can test, attest in terms of a, a fantastic, surprising scent. It does smell a bit different. Not as artificial as usual. It's got a, a nice fruity hint in that scent that I've never really had quite like that before. There is a hint of strawberry, no, cherry. One of these like cherry lollipops, these small ones. A bit of that in terms of scent. Yeah. Scent-wise, it's fine. It, it does seem to develop a bit further when it uh, warms up and you have that that gas making its way into into your nose. Okay, I'm taking the first sip now. Wonderful. Ah, not really. Um, watery. Not as rich in flavour as I hoped. The colour is nice. But uh, we're going to take a look at that right now. Oh, that's oh, the color is nice. It color-wise, it reminds me one of of uh, the the Haribo vampires, the Haribo vampire, with that licorice and that violet, sometimes violet, sometimes green, whatever color, gummy berry stuff. And this really looks like that. It looks nice. Got a nice violet tone to it. Yeah, there, there is that, that cherry scent again. Very interesting, that cherry lollipop scent. Flavour-wise it is nice. It is not too sweet, it's got a mild carbonation. But since I never had the Juneberry, I can't really say um, if it is staying true to the Juneberry. I would <coughs> Sorry for that. I would assume that it's not, but I don't want to, don't want to badmouth our, our Sea Blue Edition here. Um, it could be a bit richer in flavour, but it does taste a lot less artificial, a lot less cheap than many of these other special editions uh, taste like. Um, something that really comes to mind, which doesn't really seem to be like a special limited edition at all at this point. Maybe it never was, maybe it just it was that in my head. Uh, the red edition with the watermelon. I have that in my memory in a very... Well, it, it tasted a bit cheap, I think. Um, unless I'm mixing things up here. I might be. I don't know. I don't buy a Red Bull usually, only when it's on the sale, because it usually is too expensive. No, I can't really say what it tastes like, because I never had the Juneberry, as I said, but it does taste nice. Not too artificial. It does have a 
Not necessarily cherry, a bit of cherry-like flavor, but it does have that cherry scent, that cherry lollipop scent to it, which is lovely. The can looks nice. That violet tone of it is also nice. Although be careful, especially right now in summer, with these uh, cans right here, you can't really see if there are uh, wasps in here. And um, some folks have got a bit of trouble with wasps, wasps in the mouth when they consume stuff like this here. There was a very, very uh, annoying wasp that had yesterday in the backyard when I was reading that, uh, that paper in preparation for my like internship for uni. And it was coming back all the time. I didn't have anything with me. I didn't have, have a fizzy drink, a sweet drink, any meat. I'm a meaty boy, but I don't think that's what they're after. Um, I know I'm a, I'm a sweet boy, but I'm not that sweet. Not that sweet for wasps, I think. So I, th that one was just trying to annoy me. It was, it was trolling, basically. No, but this one here, it's fine. It is fine. Flavor-wise, nothing too special. Scent-wise, it's quite nice. Color-wise, it's all right. Um, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's it's a it's a in it's uh, <laughs> it's an edition, the sea blue edition that I like, and uh, I think that's where I'm going to leave it for this particular video. Rating-wise, I'm giving this a seven out of ten, and with that. I think we are going to wrap up this review. If you've got a question or a video suggestion, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, feel free to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I'm going to see you soon. Until then, 